Falls are the most common reason older Nova Scotians are admitted to hospital. It is also the most significant cause of serious injury for seniors. While in hospital, we want you to be safe and we want to make sure you don't fall. Here's what you can do to prevent falling in our facility. When some people are admitted to hospital, they aren't feeling well enough to get up out of bed. So we have a button that you can push while in your bed to call for someone to come and help you. This is the call bell. The call bell should always be within easy reach so you can press it if you need help. If the hospital staff ask you to only get out of bed with their help, please press the call bell and wait for someone to come before trying to get up. Often when people are in the hospital, they take a lot of medications, which can affect balance. When you first start getting up out of bed, don't hurry yourself. If you're allowed to get up on your own, always sit on the edge of the bed for a few minutes before trying to stand. If you're feeling lightheaded, don't try to stand up by yourself. Wait until a nurse or healthcare worker arrives to help you and make sure you stay on your feet. Keep your personal items, such as reading materials, glasses, and hairbrushes, within easy reach nearby. This will prevent you from having to stretch awkwardly, which might cause you to tumble forward or fall out of bed. Clutter on the floor of your room can be a tripping hazard. Make sure all your belongings are stored safely away in cupboards or closets. Ask your visitors to keep their possessions safely tucked away as well. Hospital floors can be slippery, particularly when wet. Always wear non-slip, comfortable, well-fitting footwear when walking in the hospital. Avoid walking in just stocking feet. Bathrooms can be dangerous places, so we have equipped them with grab bars and handrails. Please use the rails provided to help get on and off the toilet and in and out of the shower or tub. If you need help in the bathroom, ask your healthcare provider. If you're given a cane or walker to use while in the hospital in order to speed your recovery, please don't move around without it. There are things you can do to prevent a fall while in hospital. Help us get you home faster. Do what you can to avoid falling while you're here by using your call bell, sitting before standing, keeping your personal items close at hand, storing your belongings away, wearing proper footwear, using grab bars and handrails, and using mobility devices as directed. Falls are preventable. It's all in the choices you make. Make the right choices in hospital and help us get you home faster. Falls are the most significant cause of serious injury for seniors in Nova Scotia. When older people fall, they can fracture a hip, break a shoulder, or suffer a concussion. About half of all falls happen at home. Luckily, there are many things you can do to prevent a fall. As we get older, our eyes change and we need more light to see properly. If you don't see well, you're at greater risk of falling. To reduce this risk, keep your home well lit. Replace low wattage bulbs with higher wattage bulbs. Install night lights in your hallways and bathrooms and add lighting to darker or shadowed areas. Remove or repair tripping hazards in your home. Move objects you can trip over, like papers, books, groceries, and shoes, from stairs and other places where you walk. Repair loose carpet or uneven flooring. While we all love the warmth and character they give our homes, throw rugs are dangerous. Remove throw rugs or use double-sided tape to keep the rugs from bunching or slipping. Add handrails to both sides of all stairways. Have sidewalks cleaned and shoveled regularly. The bathroom is one of the most dangerous rooms in the home. To be safe in the bathroom and prevent falls, install grab bars near the toilet and in the tub or shower. Use non-skid bath mats or non-slip appliques on the bottom of the tub or shower. If you have difficulty getting in and out of the tub or shower, use a shower chair or bath bench. These are available at your local pharmacy or from your occupational therapist. Adjust daily activities and keep things simple. Store your most commonly used household items on lower shelves so you can easily reach them. Carry smaller loads and use handrails. 
Wear comfortable, low-heeled, well-fitted shoes. Make sure they have non-skid soles. Place a seat near the door so that you can sit and put your shoes on. Don't wear stocking feet on smooth floors. Wear indoor shoes instead. If your doctor or healthcare provider has suggested you use a walker, cane, or other mobility device, use it. One of the most critical things you can do to avoid falling is to get enough exercise. It helps keep you strong, lowers blood pressure, and improves your balance and coordination. There are things you can do to avoid falling at home and suffering serious injury. It's all about the choices you make. Choose to keep your home well lit, remove tripping hazards, make your bathroom safer, adjust your daily activities, use your walker or cane, and get exercising. Falls are preventable. It's all in the choices you make. Make the right choices and stay safe at home.